hey, hey, this is uh, Uncle Yab, and we're Gabbing with Yab, and tonight we got a few things we're going to talk about, not too serious, but we're going to try to get into a few topics. Uh, I got my co-host Richard Carrington here, how hey, you doing? Great. great, man, glad to be back in action, you know? Yeah, yeah, like I said, we're going to try to do something once a week. Yes. And I'm holding everybody accountable to that, so that's what we're doing. So, I got a question for you. Um, who's your favorite comedian? I like Dave Chappelle. I'm a big fan of Dave Chappelle, yeah. and plus he's from DC. Yeah, so. right, right. So you got to, so you got to kind of favor him, anyways. Of course. Yes. Of course. So he, um, yeah, I like him too. You know, Richard Pryor used to be my favorite back yep. in the day. And yep. He just said things that he said things that were crazy and wild back then, and people just it would shock people. You know what I mean? That's true. That's and back true. then, you know, comedians they could say whatever they want to say. They mm -hmm. could, um, you know. They can make jokes about you know, black, white, gay, right. straight, whatever, you know. And they get away with it. And nobody canceled <laughs> them or nothing like right, that. Right, right. But, you know, Dave Chappelle got a new special, man. Yes, yeah, that's what I heard. And What's the name uh, of it? I think it's called The Closer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, and it's kind on of. On Netflix, right? On Netflix. And I, I checked out, I checked it out because there's been some controversy about it. And basically what's happening is that people want to cancel him for some of the things he said. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest reasons is that. The, the rapper, they call him the baby, yep. and he's from North Carolina, <laughs> and he was just canceled by the gay community. They were really trying to cancel him because mm -hmm. at one of his concerts a few months back, he yeah. was saying some stuff that, like, you know, they felt really offended by. Right. So, I mean, he lost sponsorships. Wow. He lost, um, he lost a lot of money, millions of dollars, like, you know, from Coke and some other people, whatever. I'm not sure if it's Coke or Pepsi or right, one of those. Right, right, whatever his sponsors. But they dropped him and, you know, concerts dropped him and he was supposed to do some other stuff. And what he said was kind of crazy, like, not what he said, but what Dave Chappelle said was mm -hmm. kind of crazy and mm -hmm. kind of made me think. Right. And so what he was saying was that, Dave Chappelle on the stand-up was crazy. You gotta watch it. Love but it. <laughs> he said, I will um, check that out. you know, he referenced the baby, the rapper, mm -hmm. and he said, you know, the baby is from Charlotte. Right. He was in Walmart, got into a fight. Uh, somebody tried to rob him, or something that happened in there. Yeah. He shot the guy and killed him. What? Inside Walmart, and he got away with it. You know, because they said it was self-defense. Right. Wow. And it was another black dude. Okay. And then. The baby says, you know, some jokes about the gay community, and then they cancel him. So Chappelle's like, you say you can shoot a black guy, kill him, <laughs> and that's all right. But if you say something about a gay person, then that's not all right. Know, you get canceled. Then, then they cancel on you, and then you just cross the line. You went too far. And that's kind of crazy because a lot of times there's like this new cancel culture. Man. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, you, you gotta. Sometimes you just speak freely, but people are afraid to speak freely nowadays. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Even even with the, part, even with the podcast that we have, yeah. um, I try to be to the point as, as best I can, but I try not to offend anybody. Right. Although I want to talk and be truthful to, to about about what is being done, right. what is being said, what's going on in the world, I still try to watch it. You yeah. know my, uh, my 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 dialect. Yeah, yeah. And because um, you you're not intentionally trying to hurt anybody, right? You know, right. And you know now a big thing too. They're taking off. They're canceling people on uh, YouTube and stuff if they talk about saying anything negative about the coronavirus or about the vaccine. Oh, so a lot man. of times people aren't even saying you know the word. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's, yeah. It's, that's a that's a big thing. Yeah, like a so, taboo type thing. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and we've been clear where we stand on it. Yeah, you know? yeah. So. Yeah. But, you know, it's just it's just funny that, you know, comedians and anybody, man, you know, you could say the wrong word and your whole career could be. And yeah. you could not even be like, you know, it couldn't be like you were doing it to hurt somebody intentionally, but mm -hmm. even joking. I think, um, because Dave Chappelle, what he does, he that's his job to, yeah. to make you laugh. Yeah. So he putting things out there just to make you think through comedy and yeah. laughter. Right. But... It's, it's something to be addressed. Yeah. You know, like you say, with the, now let me ask you a question. I don't know if you noticed or not, but is the baby gay? I don't think so. Okay, so what made, oh, he just was saying just some stuff too about the gay community and they yeah. didn't like it. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Right. And I don't think he was saying it directly to them. It was like at a concert or something, mm -hmm. and he said like something about, you know, some dudes in the parking lot. Oh, and it was okay. You know, it was negative. But right, right. But it wasn't like he was going out attacking people. Yeah, I get what but you're you saying. Know, 
He said it at a concert, some people heard it, got offended, and then they got in motion. And see, that's one of the things, like, a lot of times there's communities that will get, um, something will happen to them and they'll get together and they'll address it and they'll say, okay, this person did this, right. harmed our community, we want sorry, we want this or whatever. Right. Apology. You know, you see it's happened, you know, happened to Nick Cannon, he went too far and then they got him, they got him off the show. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, he had to go through it. Well, well, to be honest, let me let me let me get you with this one. I'm, right. I wasn't. I was never a big Can Nick Cannon fan. Anyway. Right, right, right. But go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no. I mean, and, 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 you know, he's he got a hustle. You know, right, so, right. I mean, exactly. he's not he's not like some great you know uh, activist or leader yeah. or great actor or whatever. But mm -hmm. he hustles mm -hmm. and you know he he's good. he's helped a lot of people. Yes, we got to respect him. So you give and him that's, that. It's whatever. That's fine. You know, but the only the only group of people where when something happens to us that we don't you know, get together and cancel somebody is black folks. Yeah. You know? And, and things happen to us and they've been happening to us for four hundred years while we've been here. But things happen and we get a little angry but we don't get that point where we get together and say, you know, this person's gotta be canceled. Right. Or this person's right. gotta pay for what they've done to us. Or laws have to be yeah. abolished right. because of what's going on with us or what we've been through. Right. And like I said before, the one thing, the one word that I would love to get abolished and get knocked out of the dictionary is the word nigga. Yes. That I despise it, man. Yeah. But, you know, they don't do anything about that. No. They that's that's still in the dictionary mm -hmm. and it's derogatory. But yet they, they they try to make it like it's something that's said between us. Right. No. But it shouldn't even be said between no. us. No. no. That's a derogatory word. There's nothing cool or nothing, no, nothing. comforting nothing. or about it, you know. I don't care if you say it with the E R or A. Yeah, or whatever, right, right. It don't matter. You're right. At you're the end right. of the day, it shouldn't be used. And see, so you can't do that in other cultures. Just those words that you know affect them. Mm -hmm. You can't say them. You can't say them publicly. You know, whether it's Jewish or Italian or whatever. Exactly. You can't That's what do I'm that. Saying. That's what you I'm you saying. cannot do it. And, you, and if you do, you will pay a price for it. Yeah. But yeah. us, we just you know allow it, and it's something that you know I, I don't know where it comes from, but you know, like you said, that word needs to be abolished if it could be. Yeah, you know? it needs to be thrown out because, like, once again, that's that's something that we shouldn't even be calling each other. Yeah. And and I try to stress that with a lot of the uh, young brothers and sisters yeah. that um, we shouldn't be calling each other that. I have a name. Yeah. You have a name. Right. So call me by my name. Right. If you're going to call me a nickname, call me something right. that's that's positive right. and not right. negative. Right. You know, it, right. it has to be something out there else that you can say right. other than the N word. Right. right. You know, and, and I'm and I, I'm not going to accept it. Right. You know, I remember it was a time back in the day, you know, everybody used to say it and stuff like that. But, you know, as time go on, as you get older yeah. and as you read and find out what that word means right. and what it stands for, it's, it's ugly. Yeah. It's ugly and nobody should be saying it. Right. And that's what should be canceled. That's true. That's, that's true. The word that if should anything, be should be canceled. You know? But no, nobody's rallying for that. No. Or nobody's, you know, uh, taking taking that to court or taking right. that to our Supreme right. Court trying right. to get that abolished right. from from the dictionary and stuff like that. But yet, they, they take this other um, superfluous stuff to, the, you know, yeah. talk about that and try to get that out of, out of the, out of the um, dictionary and right. telling people not to talk about it. And, right. You know, if you say this, you're going to jail, or you're getting canceled, and right, stuff like right, that. Right. And why shouldn't why shouldn't that be the same? Right. And they would say even on the on the YouTube, um, like the algorithms and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they say that mm -hmm. you can say the N word as much as you want, but if you say that F word, that's derogatory towards um, gay. Right. They they can pull they'll pull you. So they know that's that, crazy. And so it's like neither one of them should be said. Right. You're right. You exactly. Know? You know, just respect them. And that, that's and respect what we us get, too. Yeah, we got to get to that point where we are one people, and we all want deserve the same level of respect, that's true. And decency. You know that's what I'm true. saying? Yep. You know, because yeah. it's not like we're we're sectioning ourselves off from black right. or gay right. or whatever. You right. know what I mean? Right. We all people, right. are human beings. Human race. Regardless of what your se sexual well, uh, yeah. character is. That's your business. You know, still. You know, you may be getting uh, ostracized as a gay man or woman, right. and the same as I me, mean, just be a regular black man. Right. It's the same thing, right. you know, to a certain to degree. To a certain extent, yeah. Degree, yeah. you know. It's all negative. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's yeah. what it is. And anything that's negative shouldn't be out here, shouldn't be publicized. Right. Right. 
and, and we should call and we should call each other on it in the same way like you know we should call people on their stuff they should call people on our stuff you right know, like That's it took right. all these murderers uh, all these murders and then George Floyd and mm -hmm. all this for Black Lives Matter to you know have a little step up yeah now, like, now we have people, a platform. And then people say, because then people saw, like, you know, we talked about this once yeah, ago, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. white, our white brothers and sisters saw what happened to him, and they couldn't believe that. Exactly. We saw, and we are like, yeah, we believe it, because it's been happening. It's been ha right. <laughs> we, we, we've been seeing it. Right. We you were know? almost desensitized to it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, like it was, we were numb. Yeah. You know, you know and, so. and that's not right for us to even yeah. accept that type right. of crap. Right, And that's what I'm saying. We shouldn't accept it. And nobody that's part of the human race should accept anybody being treated like that. That's you know true. What I mean? That's true. Because, because, you know, nobody would want to be treated like that. Nobody else would want to be treated like right. that. And if the shoe was on the other foot, right. they wouldn't want to be treated like we being treated. Right. So if you don't want to be treated like that, what make you think it's good for somebody to treat us like, like that? that? Exactly. exactly. You know, it, it's cool because it ain't done to you. Right. You right. know what I mean? Uh -huh. But just a lot of people should put themselves in our shoes, situation, yeah. our shoes, and and, 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 and and feel it, yeah. and, and you probably wouldn't like it, no. you but, know. Yeah. And this is, you know, it's a if the country could unite, you know, um, and just say, you know, we're all going to do this. We're going to have this basic level of respect for one another. Right. I right. think things could change a lot. Man. I think so too, and definitely with the. Um, the people like the Dave Chappelle's yeah. and, and, and all the stars and stuff like that, they they have a bigger platform too. Right. They should be able to help tremendously. Yeah. But I think they just don't do enough. Now Dave Chappelle is one of the people that step outside the box. Yeah. And he will do something. And he will say, he, you know, feel. right, right. It, it, whether it's comedian, right. whether it's comedic or whatever. Right. It has to be addressed. Right. You know, and and that's his way of getting it out there. Yeah. So do you do you blame him? I don't blame him. I don't blame him. You know, something that needs need to be discussed or need to come out and be out in the open, he did that. Yeah. Because a lot of people may not understand it until you actually see it and hear it coming right. from the other side. Right. 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 Then you then you sit down and you think about it and right. like, wow, he has a point. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But but they make put you they, think. Right, you're right. It's something to make you think. But they want to put a muzzle on it and and, and, and make you quiet so so it'll go away. They right. want to pacify you. You know, so 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 after a while, like like we just were talking about, it'd be it'd be normal. Yep. You know. Yeah. Yeah, sir. It's sad, man. It's sad, but once again, that's what we that we'll be dealing with in 2021. Right. Yeah, 2021, Rich. I know. You know. And this year is almost out. Man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and if it ain't if it ain't the coronavirus, we've been dealing with this almost two years. Yeah. And and then you know, then we are on top of other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you know. It's, it's getting ridiculous, man. It's getting ridiculous. It's tough out here, man. Yeah, it is. It is. So, <laughs> just got to keep our head on coming, straight. Man. Keep our head on straight and pray. Yes. And pray. Yeah. Because uh, you can't do nothing without prayer. Yeah. And have faith. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You got to have the faith and, and, and make sure you keep hope alive. Yes. Yes. You know, because if not, you know, we, a lot of people are going to fall by the wayside. Yeah. You know, and I'm a strong believer of that. Yeah. People are not going to be able to, you know, sustain. They're going to be able to cope, you know. Yeah, 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 and then and I will. I'm gonna watch that uh, that special you closer. Yeah, they didn't take it off yet, did they? No, not yet. I'm, I'm gonna watch yeah. it probably the weekend and see what. And I know, and I'll probably look at it and say, you know, I get where you're coming from. Right. But other people, like you said, they they wanna it, it's they wanna cause uh, some type of uh, controversy. Yeah. Everybody wanna cause controversy. Yeah. yeah. You know, and and there's it, it, no need for that. No, when, when a person is speaking the truth. Right. You know, and just listen, let it be heard, and then, you know, you have a right to turn it off. Exactly, you know? exactly. Exactly. And, and he's a good dude, and everybody like him, black and yeah. white. Yeah. Because he, he's straight to the point, and he's mm -hmm. funny. Yeah. Who, who doesn't like comedy? Right. But except when it gets, when it hits home. Right. Is, is that what you're trying to say? Right. Or whatever. Right. You know, or, or, right. or wait a minute, that ain't funny. Right. Nah. It, it, it's, it's jokes. Right. It's, it's this man's job. Right. But then sometimes... It, it may be a topic that may need to be brought up yeah. through what he's doing. Yeah. And if he can't get it out one way, I get out another way, right? You know? Yeah. I mean, I think that's well said, man. Yeah, yeah. And um, I think a lot of other comedians should be doing stuff like that, too. But it, it doesn't seem like that other comedians are doing it. Yeah, because people don't want to get canceled, you know? Could affect their money, so mm -hmm. they're, not going, they're not willing to go that far, you know? 
but 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 I always say, Rich, if you don't stand for something, you're gonna fall for anything. True, so a lot of yeah. times you got it's, it's all about integrity. Yes, you know? absolutely. And, and, and if and if you know if, if something I believe in, I'm not gonna do it just for a few bucks, right? Or just to pe just to please somebody else. Right. Me personally, I'm not gonna do that. Right. So you're gonna talk about me or say anything you want to say about me. I have integrity. Right. First. Yeah. You know, before I take some money from somebody, because if once you once you throw it out, that out the way, out the window, once you stop having integrity yeah. and stuff like that, then you can do people can get you to do anything. Anything, just like, <laughs> like the Russell Wilson thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, the Russell Westbrook, Westbrook thing. Yeah, you know, and a lot of people got on him for that for wearing that dress. Right. And um, me personally, once again, what's the integrity part of that? Yeah. What's the morals and the values? Right. You know, and then when that's gone out of, out of it. What, what do you have? Yeah. You know, you have to be able to think and say, it, it, should I be doing this? Right. Will, will this make my mother or father proud or right. my family happy right. that I'm doing this type of thing? Right. For a few bucks or for publicity? Right. The hell with that. Exactly, man. And, you know, you have to be able to, <laughs> you have to, man. You have to be able to say, you know, I'm doing this because you have to have integrity. You have right. to be able to stand on yes. it and say, you know, okay. I tried, I wore this dress because of what? But when you're influencing people and you have, you know, a lot of people following you and, and, <laughs> yeah. and you know, supporting you and believing you and you stand as one thing and you this masculine guy, right. tough Supposedly. guy, you know, that, you know, that's willing to fight the fans and all this other stuff and fight mm -hmm. teammates mm -hmm. and all that and you come up in a dress or a skirt, it says something. It's, it's sending a mixed signal. Yeah. It, it's, it's folks out here already uh, are mixed up and confused. <laughs> right. Kids right. are confused. Right. You know, and that's something, and that's what I always think right. about. You know, you're raising kids. Right. You're trying to raise them in the right way. Right. So now you're looking on TV and you're seeing this, that, and the other. So these kids don't know what's going on. They, right. You're confusing them. Yeah. And then they may see you doing one thing or see society doing one thing or see somebody on, on TV doing one thing. What? They saying, "What is it? What should I do?" Right. You know, and hopefully they should turn to the parents and say, "Hey, exactly, mommy, daddy, right. what's going on with this? Uh, I thought you were the dress and not the right. man." Right, right. Then you got a discussion. Right, right. You know, you shouldn't. I, I me personally, it shouldn't be. It, it, you know, that should be cut and dry. Yeah. Something you just shouldn't be messing with. Right. You know, traditional things shouldn't be messed with. Right. I don't care. If it was nineteen sixty or twenty sixty. Right. You know, just because it's it's gotten a little older and we in the future or whatever the case may be, you sh it shouldn't, don't start changing things because you figure it needs to be changed. Right. Yeah. You know, something, just leave things alone. Right. Some things. Yeah, some things. You know. <laughs> True, man. That, 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 <laughs> I don't know, and we always speak from the heart right, and this is right. my opinion. Right. And it's not, you know, it's right. no hate, no nothing. It's just what we feel. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, man. So you got anything else? Well, I mean, man, you got it on, so I got to ask you about your Washington football team, man, before we go. Go ahead. What, what do you think, man? I was I was really charged. I thought the defense was going to be really good. I thought Chase Young was going to come out this year and just go crazy. And it's really been saving all is that um, Heineke. The offense. Yeah. Yeah, he – Um, I think uh, he's, he's coming to – he's coming of age to the point where he, he's trying to be the man. Yeah. He's making that run to say, I'm going to be the quarterback of D.C. Yeah. So, I mean, as long as he's winning, I'm happy with it. And that's, happy a, that's, a, that's a tough spot to be in. Yes, know? yes. That's a, <laughs> so, and, and he's and, got some strong shoulders because he's standing on it. Right. I, it's, I just want the defense to, to get better. I know. I don't get that. So it seems like the defense is slacking yeah. and the offense pulling together. Right. But um, we're, we're two and two with 500. Yep. We play the Saints Sunday. Mm -hmm. And um, bring it on, man. <laughs> bring it on. You, you know me. Yeah. I, I'm going to stand on my Redskins. Yeah. I'm staying on my pride. I'm sorry. Washington the football, football team. team. That's right. You know, don't pull me. I don't want to get pulled. <laughs> right. Washington football team. Right. You know, yeah. so. But, um, yeah, they do, they're doing good, man. And. They, they got the arch rival, the Dallas Cowboys. Everybody putting them in the Super Bowl. I know already. I know put them in the Super Bowl, and every year that happens, that happens. it does. So I'm not yeah. gonna worry about it. as long as we keep winning and keep staying in contention, we'll be all right. Yeah, and when you'll meet them, what like usually around Christmas or something, right, Dallas? Yeah, I wanna say what is this October? Yeah, we should be meeting them sometime in December. Okay, if not the end of this month, it's sometime in November, December. December. Okay, time frame. 
Cause we, we play them, we play them kind of like a back to back. Yeah. You know, so it's gonna be a lot of yeah. the meat, the, the, the hard meat of the schedule is gonna be during that time. time. Yeah. I can't wait for that. It's gonna be a bomb burger, yeah. brother. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're going we to wrap it up, you guys. And as always, this is Gab with Gab and Richard Carrington. We're out. Take care.